today we are going to see unit 9 matter around us book back answers take page number 101 choose the best answer first one the liquid metal used in the thermometer is mercury the answer is b mercury Second one, the pictorial symbol for water given by the alchemist was, the answer is C. This is the symbol for water. Uh, third one, which one of the following element name is not derived from planet means Mercury. The answer is D, Mercury. Fourth one, the symbol of Mercury is HG. The answer is B, H, HG. Fifth one, a form of non-metal which has high ductility is carbon. The answer is D. Sixth one, the property which allows the metals to be hammered into their sheets is malleability. The answer is B. The non-metal which conduct electric current is oxygen. The answer is B. Eighth one, pencil lead contains graphite. The answer is A. Ninth one, identify the state of matter based on the arrangement of the molecules. The answer is gas, uh, B solid, C liquid. Second one, fill in the blanks. First one, the element which possess the Character of both metals and non-metals are called metalloids. Second one, the symbol of tungsten is W. Third one, melting point of most metal is dash, then non-metal means higher. Fourth one, water contains dash and dash elements, na? hydrogen and oxygen. Fifth one, DAS is used as semiconductor, silicon or germanium. Third one, match the following. Iron, iron sieving needle, copper for making wires, tungsten making the filament of a bulb, boron as a fuel for ignition in rocket. The answer 2143. Next one B, atom. Atom, building block of matter. Element, atoms of the same kind. Compound, atoms of different kinds. Molecules, smallest unit of a substance. Answer 1, 3, 2, 4. Fourth one, answer very briefly. First one, what is ductility? Metals can be drawn into thin wires. This property of metal is called ductility. Example, copper wires. Second one, write the constituent elements and their symbols for the following compounds. A. Carbon monoxide. B. Washing soda. Answer, compounds, symbols, constituent elements. First one, carbon monoxide. That is symbol CO. Constituent element on the carbon and oxygen. Next, washing soda compound. That is symbol on the Na2CO3. Constituent element sodium, carbon and oxygen. Third question, write the symbols for the following elements. The elements code symbols get to Oxygen O, gold AU, calcium CA, cadmium. CD, IN, FE. Fourth question. Which non-metal is essential for our life and all living beings inhale it during breathing? Oxygen is essential for our life and all living beings inhale it during breathing. Fifth question. Why are bills made of metals? On being hit, metals produce a typical sound. They are said to be Sonorous. This property is being made used in making bills. Sixth question. What does a chemical symbol represent? A chemical symbol is a shortened 
method of representing an element symbol of an element signifies first one name the element second one one atom of the element for example third point the symbol o stands for the element of oxygen fourth one one atom of oxygen seventh question give two examples for metalloids boron and silicon eighth one mention any three components that exist in liquid state water hydrochloric acid nitric acid ninth question write three properties of metalloids page number 98 in the last 98 la last paragraph physical properties of metalloids la first point metalloids are solids at room temperature they can form alloy with other metals some metalloids such as silicon and germanium can act as electrical conductors under specific conditions those they are called semiconductors next point silicon which is a metalloid appears lustrous but it is neither malleable nor ductile it is brittle a characteristic of some non metals it is a much poorer conductor of heat and electricity than the metals up to fifth one answer briefly first one can you store pickle in an aluminium utensil give reason no we cannot store the lemon pickle in aluminium utensil because aluminium is a metal and lemon is acid the acid react with metal to give hydrogen which would spoil the food and makes it unfit to use second question tabulate the difference between metals and non metals page number 98 fifth la second question difference between metals and non metals idile vande 1 2 3 4 5 points eldano the property metal non metal physical state at room temperature usually solid occasionally liquid solid liquid or gas idu malleability good poor usually soft or brittle ductility good poor usually soft or brittle melting point usually high usually low boiling point usually high usually low up to this you have to write for this question third question why are utensils made up of aluminium and brass first one the cooking utensils are made up of aluminium and brass because they are good conductor of heat second one aluminium will from a layer of productive oxide that prevent further reaction also aluminium is also relatively cheap and that is why it is used widely in making utensils fourth one define alchemy alchemy was form of chemistry studied in the middle age which was concerned with trying to discover ways to change ordinary metals into gold fifth question name the elements with the following symbols na sodium w tungsten ba barium Al aluminium U uranium. Sixth question: Name six common non-metals and write their symbols non metal symbols sulfur s carbon c oxygen o hydrogen h helium h nitrogen n seventh question mention any four compounds and their uses page number 100 uses of compounds compounds name chemical name Uh, constituents and uses water dichlorogen monoxide h 
hydrogen and oxygen for drinking and as solvent table salt sodium chloride sodium and chlorine essential components of our daily diet preservative for meat and fish sugar so sucrose carbon hydrogen and oxygen preparation of sweets toffees and fruit juices baking soda sodium bicarbonate sodium hydrogen carbon and oxygen fire extinguisher preparation of baking powder and preparation of cakes and bread up to this seventh question eighth question name the metals that are used in jewelry silver and gold are used for making jewels and in decorative purposes ninth question mention the uses of the following compounds baking soda bleaching powder quick lime page number 100 பேக்கிங் சோடா அதோட பேக்கிங் சோடா எழுதிட்டு அதுக்கு வந்து யூசஸ் வந்து ஃபயர் எக்ஸ்டிங்யூசர் ப்ரிப்பரேஷன் ஆஃப் பேக்கிங் பவுடர் அண்ட் ப்ரிப்பரேஷன் ஆஃப் கேக்ஸ் அண்ட் பிரெட் நெக்ஸ்ட் ப்ளீச்சிங் பவுடர் ப்ளீச்சிங் பவுடர் எழுதிட்டு அதுக்கு யூசஸ் வந்து அஸ் ப்ளீச்சிங் ஏஜென்ட் டிஸ் இன்ஃபெக்டன்ட் அண்ட் ஸ்டெர்லைசேஷன் ஆஃப் ட்ரிங்கிங் வாட்டர் இந்த பாயிண்ட் எழுதிட்டு அடுத்து குயிக் லைம் இந்த பாயிண்ட் எழுதிட்டு அதோட யூசஸ் மேனுஃபேக்சர் ஆஃப் சிமெண்ட் அண்ட் கிளாஸ் up to this ninth question